Hi, Alice. Thanks for helping. Things got a little crazy back there, but at least you're okay. Never mind the fact that I got hit in the face by and got stabbed how many times. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but was that true what you said? Are you the thief? What? Of course not. Why would I steal the Queen's memory? Yep, Sora only said that because he wanted to save... To show off. Yeah, that's more or less the case. I gotta agree with Donald on this one. Is that right? Well, you saved me all the same. Thank you. Ah, no! Not you! You made my life hell when translating in the first game. You talk too much. It's the Cheshire Cat! Or Cheshire. I think it's Cheshire. Feeling better after that mad dash, are we? Oh, but you're not out of the woods yet. I hate it when you talk. You usually end up screwing me over. The Queen's a stickler for justice. She won't forget till you till she remembers. She won't stop hounding you till you get her memory back. Did she forget because she remembers? Does she remember that she forgot? Doesn't matter, I suppose. I hate riddles! I don't know. I think we ought to just stay away from her. But Sora, what about Alice? If the Queen catches her again, it's off with... Well, you know. Then I guess we'd better do something about the Queen. So we're gonna commit regicide. I'm all for it. Let's do it. You should do something, but you should... But you don't have to do anything. Huh? I share that sentiment. If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. Likewise, if something never happened, you can't remember it. I hate riddles! Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. There is actually truth in that. If you try to remember something that didn't happen, then you can create false memories in your head. It is actually a psychological thing that happens. I remember we went over it inside, uh, with one of my professors one time. Lie? That's all I'll say. The rest is for you to figure out. God dang it. I hate that cat so much. And we have the key to truth. So yeah, we're already almost done. Looks like I'm breezing through these worlds a lot faster than I thought I would. That's for sure. Dang it, did it boot me out all the way... Why am I all the way down here? Why did it boot me down here? Ah, dang it. That's stupid. Alright, let's go over this way. I've got a lot of... Ugh. Dang it, I don't want to go up to the next floor like how I normally do, because there's a lot of heartless in here. There's a train that I've not been doing. But then again, I'm training off screen, so it doesn't even matter any of the same. And I think, how many... How many map cards do I have? I have 93. Okay, I am fine, so it does not matter. Right, so, right through here we go. Two, well, now we're going to be going heading off to the boss. Now, there is one type of card that I was wishing I could show off here, but I could probably show it off in the next world we're going to be going to. Right, let's go ahead here. Because there is a chance for what is known as te not teeming darkness. It is called bottomless darkness. It's basically a room that's pitch black except for the doors, and what's inside it will be um, just a bunch of shadows, that's all. That's actually a room to where I first made my first magic deck in the other one. All right, so, here it is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, I should probably just do a save room just in case. I should do a moment to revive just in case. Because you never know if I end up dying or something. Right, so let us use a moment's pride, because I've actually got a lot of those, too. Now, you, like I said before, you're probably wondering why I'm not using my Calm Bounties. It's because I'm saving that for the for one of the later worlds that I'm going to be doing, for the simple fact that I like to save it for that world. So let's save. Right, and another file. The great part about this is I literally have, like... 64 megabytes on this memory card. I was going to get a 128 megabyte card, but I just said... Right, uh, nothing in there. Oh, sweet, a card. It is a Lady Luck. 
I would love to. I lo I'd love to use the Lady Luck, but it uses a lot of CP, and I my current deck is pretty good right now. Even though Kingdom yeah. Keys aren't that powerful, I tend to use them a lot. And just a bunch of health. All right. So I think we're ready. So what we're gonna need right here is we're gonna need a red. Uh, so roulette, because I am not powering up that heartless at all. And friend card. And key to truth. Let's go. Gosh, what's with the sudden change of scenery? Ugh, this was usually the most room that you'd see in freaking Wonderland when you went there. Let's look around. Oh dear! I love how she didn't see them all in front of her. Thought you'd seen the last of me, did you? Not really. Well, actually, yes, because I, w I honestly thought you're so large, I thought that you would fuse with your throne. Uh-oh. Game's up, scoundrels. For stealing my memory, I sentence you to... I sentence you to... <laughs> I love that blank stare. I sentence... Oh. What's going on? Where am I? Huh? What in the world am I doing? Confound it, I can't remember! She has short-term memory loss. What's wrong with her? Maybe somebody swiped her memory again. Sor, watch out! Something's coming! Uh, what is it? Oh. And now, for actually a return of one of my more favorite bosses, actually. The Trickster! So yes, we have the return of the Trickster. Sadly, it's not the fabulous one, so it's not as good. As you can see, the Trickster already has everything set up, and his things are on fire, so he will do that fire attack. So this is what stole... Stoles? So this is what stole the Queen's memory. Yes, it was the Trickster! So now we are in a boss battle against him. Uh, he's very easy, actually. Uh, he will smash this down. Uh, he will smash down the table. Nope. But you can easily knock him out. Uh, five cards work very well against him. He doesn't have that many powerful cards. Uh, you may want to use Slate sometime. There we go. Uh, he was actually trying to set it. Oh, okay. I need nope. I thought he was... I guess eights are his most powerful one, but usually whenever he does an eight, it's not really that bad. Uh, fire works very well against him, I say. No, I have. There we go. Fire. Nope. Ah, Fred. Really, for this boss, I just find it just takes a while to be quite honest. That, whoa, the camera was glitching out on that one. I don't know why. Uh, let's heal. heal. And let's go on to here. And let us beat the living heck out of you. Of course, you can set You dick. Ah, you dick. Anyway, you're probably wondering what the gimmick card for this battle is. All it does is just bring back the table. That's all it does. In fact, I think I just got a given card. No, it's a Goofy. All right, I can actually... Goofy is actually not that useful in this boss. For the simple fact that Goofy um, can't really do much to him. He can't bounce up this heart. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that's that a few times. Whoop. Whoop. Like I said, uh, I guess having high jump for this really makes it easy. I've never actually done it to where I've done Monstro before I did uh, this boss. That. Magic, so that I can use some fire. fire with the camera glitching out again. Fire! 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 
Like I said, fire. The friend. Whoop. That's a Donald card. Sweet magic. Ah, dang it. Like I said, I don't. Oh, that's a gimmick card right there. That's a gimmick card, so I'm actually going to use that whenever he uses it. In the meantime. Alright, uh, let us heal. Might actually have to charge up. Whoop. Charge up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to the gimmick card. Oh, you can't actually use a gimmick card in the slate. Nope, I'm going to stop that. Uh, if he's standing right by the table, it will, like, sort of stun him for a bit. Hooray! Sliding dash! Completely pointless. There we go. What I need to do is I need to knock him. There we go. I think I got a goofy card right here. Ow. Is that a goofy... Uh, yeah, it was. So... Goofy's kind of useless in this boss battle. Goofy's just really actually kind of battle unfortunate. Oh, he uses zero on me, you little dick. Uh. Yeah, stay away from him. So he... Okay, yeah, I can just do that. Ah, oh, crazy. Ow. Break. There we go, that time I hit him. I really wish I had a guard. I guess the table's helping me. Like I said, this boss is really easy. It just takes a lot of goddamn time. Hooray! Useless! Ugh. Boss just takes too damn long. Break! God dang it. I need to just knock him unconscious, is what I need to do. There we go. Uh, there's a friend card around here. Is I hurt? Because it dropped. There it is. I'm surprised he's not knocked down the table yet. He normally would have knocked down the table again. I could actually use a Donald heal. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Donald! You were useful in a boss! Okay, so this should probably take him out. There we go! That takes out the trickster. Like I said, he's not that bad. Honestly, you'll have a harder time with the cards in the Key of Guidance. This boss is really easy. I'm not going to lie. It's very easy. It's just time-consuming. And for our troubles, we get a trickster card. You there! All of you! What is the meaning of this? Where did that creature come from? He came from the ceiling, your majesty. How would we know? So, you refuse to answer? You're hiding something. No? They're plotting against me. Seize them immediately. Please, your majesty, wait. It was you who commanded us to destroy those creatures. Wait, us? Where the heck were you in all this battle, Alice? Huh? And Sora can't understand a plan for the slightest. Your Majesty, in her pure prudence, bleh, didn't completely trust us at first. And so, at Your Majesty's command, we fought them to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? We did? God, you're terrible with going along with a plan, Sora. I mean, we did. Your, uh, Majesty? I told you to do that? But your majesty, don't you remember? Don't be really... God, I was doing so good this world with reading. Don't be ridiculous. I never forget anything. Of course I gave the command. You did splendidly. Oh, 
Well, that's one way to trick the queen. Well, that was close. Yeah, I know. Sora probably wouldn't have thought that through and probably would have botched it a lot of the time. Way to improvise. I never would have thought of that. And that I believe. But the Cheshire Cat said as much. Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. The Queen would never admit she forgot, so instead, she remembered something that didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. And later on, Alice ended up tricking the Queen and became Queen of Wonderland. With her newfound manipulatory powers. What is it, Sora? Hmm? Nothing. Well, I guess you're, you'll be safe now. And the Queen won't give us any more trouble. After all, we just got rid of the Heartless, just like she commanded. And Goofy defected against King Mickey. Bad Goofy. Don't tell me you've been fooled too! I find it so interesting how Donald's hat bounces like that. And there we go! Yeah. That takes care of Wonderland! Wait, wait, is that a... That's a Kingdom Key! Dang it! I was hoping for another one of Lady Lux. But yes, that takes care of Wonderland. A little bit premature based on my practice file, but really not that difficult at all. It's really only difficult... Make sure you have some zeros, I guess, or just avoid the attacks, really. Like I said, the hardest part about it is honestly the key of guidance. Other than that, it's a fairly straightforward world. All right, and... And just as a little heads up in my practice file, for the first couple of world cards, Wonderland was actually the last world I did, for the record. So that's what I mean by how easy it was. Then again, I think it was actually around this level when I did Wonderland on my practice file. So I'm a little bit more than... and a higher level than my practice file. Who could that have been before? In my memory. It wasn't Kyrie, but another girl? You mean Selfie? Maybe. I think her name was. Sora! Yeah. Let's go! You wanna find Nico and the kid, don't you? Um, sure. Man, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, I'm sure it will come to you. I'm sure it'll come to you, Sora. So what do you have to say, Goofy? What's on your mind, Sora? You seem like you're in another world. Ah! Uh, Goofy making an unintentional pun. Snap out of it! We've got to find the king and Riku. All right. So, to the fifth floor. I remember. Huh? There was another girl. What? A girl? Where? No, no. I mean on the islands where I used to live. Besides Kyrie and Riku, there was one other girl I was friends with. You mean the Selfie? The four of us played together all the time. Selfie. <laughs> Sora, seems to me that's the first time you've mentioned her. Yeah. I guess I forgot all about her. Terrible friend. I think... She just suddenly went away when I was still really little. What do you think makes you remember that now? I'm not sure, but it's been coming back in pieces as we go through the castle. Gorse, do you remember her name? I don't remember. I feel kind of dumb. We said we weren't going to forget our friends, and well, now I can't even remember her name. Sora! Oh, you shouldn't be worrying none. If it's been coming back to you in pieces, you're sure to remember her name just like everything else. 
Hmm. Well, that's one way to put it, I guess. And again, Selfie got shat on, but that's beside the point. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's Wonderland and the fourth floor completed. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. Even Rox is 1359. Next time, we're going to take on the world for the fifth floor. See you guys then.